Well, we have a partial solar eclipse happening Saturday. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see much. Clouds are going to be a big issue and likely ruin our view. But you're going to hear a lot about this. So let me explain what's happening. It's not a total solar eclipse like we had in 2017 around St. Louis. And we have another one coming up, by the way, in April of 2024. I'll explain more on that coming up. So what is this? Well, the path of the annular eclipse is way to the southwest of St. Louis. We're only in the partial eclipse. This annular, annular meaning ring, in that path, they'll actually see a ring of fire around the moon as the moon tries to block the sun, but not quite in a position to block all of the sun, like in a total eclipse. So the ring of fire is what they'll see in that annular eclipse path to the southwest. What will we see in St. Louis? Not much. Again, I think clouds are going to be a big issue. But if we get some breaks, it will be a 54% partial eclipse where the moon obscures about 54% of the sun. It starts at 1032 in the morning Saturday, maximum eclipse at 1157 a.m., and then it ends at 126. Again, I think clouds are a big issue. But again, it's not quite as cool as that total solar eclipse we had in 2017. And there is another one coming up on April 8th of 2024. Now, this is the path of the total solar eclipse in 2024 and you notice how it cuts right near St. Louis. It's not quite in St. Louis, but areas like Farmington to Mount Vernon. Yeah, you'll be in that path. We'll talk a lot more about that as we get closer to that total solar eclipse in April of 2024.